This was going to be such a good series, but I freaking lost the book I wrote it in! Ah! <laughs> I was freaking procrastinate for! Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Guys, I found it. Day two in a mental facility. Hello, hello. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Can't stop thinking about TikTok and twisting my hair. I'm gonna be here for probably until Monday. It's currently Wednesday right now. I'm not allowed to have my phone or my iPad and I can't even wear my own clothes because they have strings on them. Yesterday when I got here, I basically got no sleep. I went to my room around 1600 and tried sleeping, but the caretakers constantly come in your room every 15 minutes of the night. So I got up at 2 a.m. and walked to one of the caretakers and told him how I don't belong here. He told me to explain my situation and basically I came to a conclusion that what I did was wrong and that there wasn't anything terribly wrong with me to be in a mental home. <sighs> You're probably confused so let me explain this. I just recently took a week of leave from my job and before that week I told my higher authorities I had bad news and good news. Bad news had been I had been feeling low and distracted at work. The good news was my work on the other side had been paying off like social media. Once that was done I requested a week of leave and I also asked to find a way to get out of that job because it was negatively affecting my health fast forward three days into my leave they're on the back end helping me find a way to get out and i'm making videos and live streams but that night four hundred and sixty dollars was taken out of my bank account and i had trouble sleeping the next day i called my friends and then my higher authorities and i told them i was feeling low again not necessarily those words but then he said he'd come get me and take me to the hospital and that's what let me hear what have i done I know, I know.